We really got to do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. <laughs> wow. I was wondering what this place was. It's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. Right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. 
the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. Flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard? Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Did you do the XRF analysis? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. Promotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to max. Beautiful work, Peter. Okay. 
Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> Be any bad guys? Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? <clears throat> hey, I'm at the bridge. There's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, littering? Come on, man. Here. Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. 
Oh, is that your home? Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but a trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out now. Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Genki. But he could help pinpoint these. What's crave? You hungry too? There we go. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are... An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. for wait I get bringing scorpion and Lee on a hunt but black cat's a thief I don't never gonna win best in show with that attitude <laughs> Nice doggy kitty robot.
Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. MJ, how's your French? Non-existent, but send me what you got. Okay. There's some instruction manual for a Wanda Watoom. Watoom? Hmm. I'll do a search. Give me a sec. Hunters. Wherever they're headed, I should follow. Yeah. In position. She's ours. Now let's see what's up with Felicia. A 
spider wants to play, huh? Why won't you help me stop this guy? You're Spider-Man. You've saved the city before. You'll do it again. Spider-Man was right about you. You only care about yourself. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. And I got her into trouble with some bad people. Have you ever done something for love? She needs me now. If only I could figure out how to go more than ten feet with this thing. MJ said not to trust you. <gasps> Red's a smart one. But you gotta make your own choices, kid. There's a cat! Take her alive! She's mine! <laughs> <laughs> Here, focus. Think Eiffel Tower. How are we, Felicia? Change it to Miles first, then I'll scope out the park. Incognito. I don't see any bad guys. Hmm. And should we take a closer look? Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist. And this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this. is the next generation of entertainment. <laughs> no way, dude. Excellent! Cole, a brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? Come one, come all, and experience the future! I'll end soon. Thank you, Betsy. I'm sure he will. Now to customize your experience. As you look at these images, I want you to think about your future, your hopes and your dreams. Ah, yes. I'm getting good data. And we're done. No way! <laughs> Enjoy the show. Don't worry, I'll be watching and listening. If at any time you begin to feel uncomfortable, just let us know. Enjoy your dream come true.
Are you okay? Yeah. I, I am very sorry. We will do our best to find out what happened. But until then... Miles! So, uh, what's up with that? Oh. <laughs> uh, the future of entertainment still has some bugs to work out. Hi, Pete. <laughs> cool shirt. Cool shoes. Uh, really cool shoes. Cool everything, really. Hey, Miles. Thank you. Uh, guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Uh, he just got back from overseas, and he's starting up a new research foundation. You mean we're starting up a new research foundation? <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Uh, new job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Shall we? Uh, actually, that thing back there really messed my head up. Can we dip? Okay. Nice meeting you, Harry. Yeah, you too. You, you good? Yeah. Actually, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Hey, we should really check it on Miles. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, they seem nice. <laughs> Not too bad they're gonna miss out on the best night of our lives, huh? <laughs> Welcome! All right, let's do this. Step right up. You have no idea who you're up against. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Now, Pete, you got this. Yeah, right, players? Fingers on the trigger, let's eyes go. on the target. Your prize? Oh, we're good, thanks. I look good in the crown. <laughs> Next on our you're driving, hard pass. Come on, you two lovebirds. We've got more park to explore. doing here? Looks like he's a mechanic and saving the day. <laughs> Thanks for pulling me out, man. It could have been really bad. Maybe we should try the roller coaster. <laughs> Never taking this off, right? You're gonna wear that to the office. After you. Co-founder approved. <laughs> Such a gentleman. You doing okay? I'm really nervous. Don't worry about it. Who's up first? Pete, come on. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker pride. Boys, boys, you're both pretty. The year. Hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna go see if I can win a couple more unicorns.
You look really happy. It's funny. Harry's getting a second chance, but I feel like I'm getting one too. You two are gonna make a hell of a team. <laughs> The bugle posted. Did Jonah put you on the front page? Oh, you're gonna be an editor! I should have brought champagne. Hunters and scorpions and explosions? Oh my. Jonah posted the new guy's story. Oh, MJ, uh, yeah. It already has 5,000 views. I've gotta write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you'll come up with something. You always do. Thanks. Sure. And hey, if you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. This way. Out of the way. Eyes on Tombstone. Tombstone.
Sure do. Spider-Man? I know, I know. But first, what are those things coming out of you? I think it's my treatment. <laughs> Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could. Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world. Sorry. I uh, guess I still got to figure out how this thing works. Well, it's a real shame neither of us has a state-of-the-art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there. Meet me call when you're ready.